Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Today, I finally made it to the other antique mall. This is not the one where I have my stuff. I just left Willowstone, picked up my check, checked on my showcases, looked around real quick, but I didn't film because I wanted to get here. This is the other one, and American Classics Marketplace. And we're gonna check on some new booths from some new reseller friends I met and check for after Christmas sales. So I'll see you inside. And I just walked in, that's the front door. And I always do this aisle first because I always like to look at these jewelry cases. So we're gonna start there first. And it looks like she's having 50% off sale. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. It's a cute little tree of life. And that's different. Kind of Southwest or Native American Indian looking a little bit. And then with the purple. The prices are a little high, so half price is still gonna be a little iffy. Oh, that piece is still here. $90, so $45. That's where I learned what dressy or drusy was. That technique. She doesn't have quite as much as she usually has. Okay, just a lot of the rhinestone stuff that we've seen before. Okay, this is, um, I mean, it's pretty, but you know, it's not vintage or anything, but it's pretty. That's cute. Next case. Now some of this, this is probably a mix of vintage and not vintage. that bowl in that either lucite or amber <laughs> that's nice that butterfly the abalone butterfly some cameos now she used to have this these two cases too but it looks like it's someone else's now not the same number oh that's a nice bracelet right there let's zoom in that's awesome. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I didn't get anything, but it was tempting, it was. So now, let me turn the camera around, tell you what we're doing. So we're just gonna go cruise to my favorite stores that I love and usually find something to, you know, for myself or to buy for resale. And we're gonna go look for Karen's booth. And remember Karen, the reseller I met the other day, her booth is in here. She's been in here for five years, she says. And I met a mother and daughter team a couple months ago, and the daughter's name is Brittany, and I've been keeping in contact with her on Instagram and whatnot. She actually wants that bracelet that I got the other day, that uh, white abalone with the alpaca silver. So it's out in my car in case we run into each other. But anyways, I'm gonna find their booth. They just got a new booth in here. Willowstone is what they wanted as well, but. They chose this one, I guess, because it came up first. So we're gonna do that. Look, there's a Bluebird of Happiness. That's a little different. Looks like a candle holder too, $28. That's a little high, but I've been collecting all the Bluebirds of Happiness that I find, if they're cheap enough. Um, and I'm like doing a collection of the dates by Leo Ward and whatnot. And then any duplicates, I will either sell or give away because I think everyone should have a bluebird of happiness. As you know, they're not gonna be made anymore. That's a pretty color. 
Okay, so we're just cruising her way, stop at a few places. She's having 50% off jewelry and 75% off everything else. She usually has a little bit of jewelry, lots of linens, and some purses, and then like a little bird goods in the back. I don't see, she, oh, she's got some antique brushes, hair combs, tortoise hair combs. I think the oldest purse seems to be possibly that one. Can't see the price, that's a bummer. It's pretty beat up though. And wow, that's a gigantic crown size tortoise hair comb. I wish I could see the price. Okay, I'm gonna go look at the glass set and then we'll move on. I don't really see anything in her hard goods section and I feel like She's pretty old school priced. I mean, 65 for that. I don't think they're going for that anymore. And this says Fenton, $65. Isn't that a, wait a minute, isn't that Ellie Smith? I know I bought a blue one just gratuitously and put it up for sale. I think I have it like 15, $16. Just kind of to say I bought and sold one. Maybe I'm wrong, I could have swore that was Ellie Smith, but all right, you guys tell me or I'll look it up later. Oh, I always love that booth too. We looked at this a lot. Remember the King Tut? <laughs> Let's see what she has today. Filigree metal something or other. Probably from India. That looks new though. $25. You guys, that is like six feet tall if you're wanting to know. <laughs> All right, one of the biggest ceramic swans ever, and it looks like it's lidded. So I don't know if that's a soup terrine, but that's party size. Well, now, let me see what this is. Multi-color candlestick. I was hoping that she would have something more about it. I mean, it looks kind of new, but that's cool. All right, here's my girl. I mean, one of my favorite booths. It's not one of our reseller friends yet. <laughs> you guys probably recognize this. Some stuff is still here. This has a chip on it. It's why it's still here. That's a beautiful shade of green, teal, kind of teal green. Thought maybe that was a Nemaji, even though they don't really sell for that much. Looks like a Frank Oma piece, right? Now these digital clocks, and this one's quite unique. But those ones that, you know, do that. Let me see if I can find a price. Oh, it's heavy. $24.95. That might be a decent price, even some meat on the bone for something like that. Let's see this. Oh, it's cracked. Too bad. That's probably about a $30 or $40 item if it wasn't cracked. Lucite box purse. Pretty art glass. Love this one. See how it's folded over? That's beautiful. $29.99. Some Westmoreland stuff. Green satin painted. Oh, $12.95. This looks like one of those Costa Boda. The Zoo series. Pretty sure, you guys. They, I've seen those listed anywhere from $20 to $50. So, who knows? I found something new to me. So someone has made a purse out of a book. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they did. Oh my goodness. What book is it? Executive Orders, Tom Clancy. That's cute. $14.99. 
That's an interesting idea, new to me anyways. McCoy. I don't tend for the set. Oh, that's nice. I love clothes and A stuff. $19.99. I don't know if that is clothes and A. It's more enameled over ceramic or porcelain. Oh, there's another book purse. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think. Why do I love this? What do you guys think? Is that cute? That is Fall of Giants, Ken Follett. I think he's a famous artist too. Tupperware dumpster. Kind of marble looking lucite. Marble and shell looking. Okay, well that was interesting. Let's see what else. Well, I can't stay long in this booth because the music speaker's right above me, but real quick, $34.95 for the whole set, but look, these are marble onyx stone. Aren't those adorable? Okay, we gotta get out of this booth or I have to do a voiceover. Well, I can't find Brittany in her mom's booth and I forget the number, but she said it was back by the bathroom and I feel like it's probably that this is a good guess because someone's just coming in, so. Moving on. Okay, I found it. Karen's Corner. Karen that we met the other day. 25% off Christmas items, 15% off everything else. Wow. Yeah, she's been here five years at shows. Impressive booth. Well use of space. Nice stuff. Welcome to Karen's Corner. I don't know if you can see that. Welcome to Karen's Corner. Nice, Karen. Wow, she has really nice stuff. I gotta get back in here, Karen. I have some of these, but I don't have little ones. <laughs> All right, let me set it down. Okay, it was uh, all four of them for $14.95 and 15% off. Yeah, Karen knows her stuff. That's really cute. Here's the Christmas stuff. I have one of these. $19.95, yeah, those are worth a little penny for just little dolls. Smiley face cups. Mickey. I'm trying to see what's back there. $34, that's pretty. Fenton or Northwood or something. It's got some dragonware plates in there. I don't know if you can see that. Or a small decorative. No, that's not the price on that. She's really made a good use of space. Purses, linens. Beautiful painting. I have this in purple that should be Hoosier. Hoosier. Oops, you can't see it. Yeah, I have it in purple. It's getting ready to be listed. Oh, that's pretty, Karen. What is that? $34.99. Have it. See, just no name attached to it. Different color on the bottom. I want to back up. Okay, so this is all her booth. And wow, good job, right, of space and everything. Seriously. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> I was here. Bye-bye.
pretty much done with this area of all the booths that you know where I know I might can score something for a good deal so then we're going to go on into the warehouse and look around there where prices are often a little cheaper and where um cat's corner is cat's kitchen <laughs> whatever I'll show you when I get there okay well some of you know the drill <laughs> you've made this little passageway with me several times right through all the pretty rocks yay we are now in the huge warehouse so we'll just wander around some of my favorite booths where I usually find good deals and then over to Kat's kitschy corner <laughs> Okay, these two booths are having 50% off everything, so I'm going to look in that one when she's done. And then they have this one as well. And I'm going to go look at that one, because I already grabbed this real quick. This stone turtle. Made in Italy. Whoops, come here baby. Made in Italy, so it'd be $4 in good enough shape for four dollars so we're going to go in and see what else i think i see some more turtles okay let's see these other half price items mm. see so you would be four dollars too you look pretty vintagey what's happening here eight dollars so four dollars for you what are you i mean okay you're an owl with googly eyes but what the heck broken wing i don't know what that is made out of y'all kind of cool though some of that dough art man it's been a long time since i've seen any of this stuff swiss or german or austrian Yeah, I haven't seen any of that stuff in a long time. Okay, another kind of onyx turtle. Shell turtle. I do like shell stuff. So that would be $4 as well. How is your outfit? Are you fully dressed? <laughs> Let's see. I don't see anything chipped or broken. I might get that one. It's a little more than I would pay. usually pay at a thrift store. Ah, they would probably charge me $2.99, $3.99. I think I'll get that one. Unfinished, unfinished. Hmm. Tonella type things. Wooden. Paper mache type. That is signed though. Real lightweight paper mache. Hand painted. And... I can't hardly read. So, oh, Mexico. That could be a famous Mexican artiste. I think I'll get this one. Yes. I'll get this one. I have a lot of viewers, a lot of you YouTube friends that love your turtles. So, okay. All right, let's check their other side over there. She's done. The only thing I saw interesting in here, a couple of baskets that were, you know, not enough meat on the bone. I'm a koi planter, but it's marked 79, so that's too much, even at half price for resale. And then in the showcase, a little lusterware mini set, child set perhaps. That would be 15. And then let me move some stuff. Who remembers those? I think I remember my mom doing that. The, the green stamps s and h and then we'd get enough and we'd go to this store where she could redeem them for stuff yeah i remember that okay oh there it is right there cat's kitschy vintage that's it <laughs> that's the name okay definitely gonna look here well cat's got some tiki stuff just in case you're wondering, she's along the wall in the warehouse, WH9, and again, it's called Cat's Kitschy Vintage. I will check, but I highly doubt if Cat missed anything on her tiki. 
Oh, let's see. Nope, she didn't. <laughs> Seventy five dollars. Yep. Had to try, cat. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I'm not going to scoop any tiki stuff from cat. <laughs> well, that's cool. $55. Magazine rack, ashtray. Wait a minute, is she having a sale? Okay, yeah, she usually does have a sale. 30% off lamps, 20% off everything else. I just enjoy looking at cat stuff because she has great taste. She finds great stuff. I have bought some things though. Definitely. $28. Cats by Nina. Nina Lyman. There's some Blanco. Fire and light reminds me of Blanco, but fire and light's a little more refined than the Blanco texture. Can you guys see in here? That's cute. Three separate duck or geese baskets, nesting swans, she's calling it. $20 and then 20% off. Cute. Some ash, some lighters. Cer vintage ceramic lighters quite a few 45 for that one wow look at this one <laughs> nice nice cat 55 oh does she have a John Perry piece yep how much $70 I sold one of them out of my showcase. The best one sold, of course. There's those rollover clocks. See, she's got hers priced at, she's got hers priced at 50. Those flip ones, for some reason, that resale value has gone up. Oh, Batossi, look. Is it Batossi or Batossi? Forgive me, I might not be saying it right. Oh, I've never found one at the thrift stores yet. I want to. It's on my list. It's on my reseller. Holy Grail bucket list. <laughs> oh, I just sold a couple of those. Look, I'll show you. Ducks Unlimited. And each, well, it doesn't say there, but it's Ducks Unlimited. Oh, there it is. By Jet Brunette. And um, I got three of them at the thrift store. And I sold them, I think, for 20 bucks or something. I don't know. That just happened. Anyways, those little things are a thing. If you can get them cheap enough, you can flip those quick and easy. different that painting is still here you guys remember that it's all little torn strips of paper and magazines because when you look close you'll see items in some of the strips of paper 600 what was that Lenore here because I might not say it right Lenore Baron Viewers loved that last time. It's pretty big. Oh, love. $22. <laughs> love. That looks like Avon. Yeah. And there's a turtle. Well, never seen a chained up family of that color. Cute. Oh, she says possibly Potosi, again, my pronunciation, or Rosenthal Netter. There's a Lisa Larson. Those could bring good money if you're lucky enough to find them. I don't know how to say this, Gustav Berg. <laughs> 
but it's worth being familiar with um, some of her designs, definitely. And what is that? Hager. Well, that's an interesting Hager pattern, isn't it? I like that. Kind of Art Deco. Only $11. So, let's see, 20% off, $2.20 off. Did I do that right? I think so. Oh, I looked at that. <laughs> it's a thrift store. <laughs> Another lighter. Oh, look, a whole set. Nasco del Coronado. A whole set. Cuteness. Well, that's not Dorothy Thorpe, of course. Dorothy Thorpe style. Yeah, she marked it just style because it's silver fade. But wow, that's a nice set. Nice and clean. Ice bucket or wine chiller, everything. Okay, now, save the best for last. Well, you know, my favorite. Wow, here we go. Oh my goodness. Girl, where you been? She must have went up to Denver. She told me I should start making more trips to Denver. Nice. 37 for that sherbet looking set. Lou Honing. Can you guys see that? California Pottery Artiste. Blanco, Blanco. Another kitty cat modern. Oh, what are you? Oh, a Blanco. I did not know that. Amethyst. Oh my. $47, Murano Cobalt, Silver Flake, Millifori, yes. Yes, that has silver foil in it instead of gold flex, so I don't know if you would still, I don't, that's not a Venturino then, that would be called something else. Nice. Dang, I wonder where she went and got all this. That looks like another Blanco. You know, Margie's garden, Margie or Margie's garden, of course, the beautiful Viking. I believe that's the blue neat that George taught me. I've got a couple pieces of it. And at least, you know, through pictures, which, you know, you don't know, he said blue neat. Another Viking. Oh, oh looky, looky. <laughs> Hi, cat. <laughs> She's got smiley faces. <laughs> I don't have that one. This one here. I've got those and I have one of these that I got at the thrift store. Oh, Awesome. This is a Duncan Miller duck cigar ashtray. A little bit of chipping on the head, she says. Whose are these? She just says vintage. I don't know whose those are either. And that's like that Empoli stuff, right? Yes. Let you guys read. Art Glass Snifter. I know people have said called these brandy snifters. I'm like, really? <laughs> Aren't they just vases or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not much of a drinker. There's some Amberino. Let's see how much for that. 
She says Fenton Amberino Fruit and Diamond Pattern Lace Basket 36. And then 20% off, you guys. Yeah, let's see this too. I missed this. Japanese luster wear. Nice face. Yes, made in Japan. This looks like what does she have that as? That looks like that SKLO Union stuff. All right, wow, wow. And I guess a blendo. Wait a minute, I missed this. A blendo, red blendo pitcher. Yeah, $38. And then 20% off. So if you're like me and thinking about pricing, you know, Kat's good and she's fair on her pricing. So I trust her pricing if I'm trying to learn something. And then, you know, I take into consideration that she always has a 20% um, a off sale. But woo, that was fun, right? Yes. That about made my day, Kat. Thank you. Almost to the cash register to take my turn in line, but I thought, you know, I never really show booths like this um, because I don't know what to say about it. I guess those are lanterns, <laughs> right? It's old farm stuff. Looks like part of a windmill there. <laughs> so this is just out of my wheelhouse, but I know some some of you like this kind of stuff, so. Let me show you around. You probably know what things are. I do know that's a bedpan. And that's a mop bucket. This is like being in an old farmhouse and like going out in their garage, in their barn, right? <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Antique mid-1800s bone-handled eating tools. Interesting. So on my way out to the register, I usually stop here and pick up some kind of exotic jam, but wow, they must have had good Christmas sales. There's none of the, you know, crazy like blueberry and habanero and you know peach and jalapeno so i guess uh we'll have to pass today wait for them to restock all right i'm checking out you guys and i will talk to you later i hope you had fun all right you guys bye-bye see you later have a good day you too